Here we'll go over some view camera basics with the Horseman camera. Uh, what we have here is basically a black box with a lens on one end and on the back uh, frosted ground glass that you do the actual composing and focusing with and then when you're ready to take a picture you insert the film holder into here. Let's start out here by looking at the lens settings close up. There's a triangular thing right here and by pushing up on that we can open up the lens for focusing. On the top is an aperture scale. This one goes from f5.6 to f64. For focusing we'll want that at f5.6. And then um, when we're ready to take the picture we'll be closing the shutter by pushing this triangular thing down and then selecting a shutter speed and then um, which is on the front there and then by tensioning the shutter and then um, we're ready to make an exposure. The view camera has adjustable movements that facilitate different perspective controls and the Horseman's maybe the easiest camera to use because it's very easy to set everything on zero and make sure that you don't have something misaligned. Most typically you'll set the camera up so the back is perfectly level and then use for perspective you usually use front rise and fall to give the effect of pointing the camera up or down without um, having your verticals converge. Swing and tilt movements are used to control the plane of focus and maybe the most typical uh, in a landscape scenery picture is to tip the front standard forward to achieve focus in the foreground and the background. To focus the view camera we use the triangular slider to open up the shutter and then make sure that the aperture is at the maximum opening to make the image brighter on the ground glass. Uh, and we'll use this black cloth to facilitate brighter. Focusing is done with this knob on the um, back rear standard of the camera. And on the Horseman camera, um, all focusing is done with the one knob. Once we have our image composed and focused, we'll use the triangular slider to close the shutter, set the aperture, set the shutter speed, and then tension the shutter. Now we're ready to expose the film, which is in the 4x5 cassette, which we slip in here in front of the ground glass, and make sure that's seated in place. Pull off the dark slide, which was to the white side to indicate that there's unexposed film in there. Take the picture, and then replace the dark slide with the black side up.